Hey there, Sam. Let's talk about the var keyword and why we shouldn't use it at all. Suppose we have a variable called a, which is defined using a let keyword. And we have another variable, b, defined using the var keyword. And lastly, a const variable, c. And here's a situation. Let's create an if statement, and I'll pass in true in the round bracket, so the if statement will run. And inside the if statement, we'll redeclare variable a, b, c, and reassign the values to the number 2. Now if I console out the variables a, b, and c, after the if statement, what do you think will happen? What would we see in the console? Pause the video and think for a second. The answer might surprise you. So let's take a look at what will happen. For a, we get the string a, which is the initial value. For b, we get 2. And for c, we get the initial value as well. So what the hell is going on here? Let's break it down bits by bits. Before we move on, I want to introduce you the concept of scope. Now in JavaScript, every time you see the curly braces, it means we're entering a new scope. It could be an if statement, a for loop, a function, or even just a pair of curly braces on their own. Just a side note, even though the curly braces of an object is the same as the curly braces of a scope, they are not the same concept. So don't get confused by them. You can think of a scope as a room that separates variables. Whatever variables that we define in a scope stays inside the scope. And once we exit the scope, the variables will just be dumped into the garbage bin. And this explains why are we getting the original value for a and c. So the variable a and c that we define inside the if statement is different to the variable that we define above. And once we exit the scope, they will be gone. And the variable a and c down here is referring to the a and c that we define up there. Now, you might be wondering why b has changed. The reason is var variable sucks, and they do not follow this rule. In other words, var is not scope safe. I'll show you why this could cause an issue in just a minute. For now, let's take a look on how JavaScript finds a value for a variable. Suppose we console out the variable a. When JavaScript runs this line, it will first look out for the declaration of variable a in the current scope. It found the declaration in this case, but we're trying to grab the variable before we declare it, that's why we're getting an error. If JavaScript couldn't find any declaration in the current scope, it will try to look up in the parent scope. I'll show you what I mean. If I comment out the variable a in the current scope, the console log here will be referring to the a above, which is from the parent scope. And if JavaScript couldn't find anything in the parent scope, it will go further up into the grandparent scope and great grandparent scope until it couldn't go further up anymore. In other words, it won't stop until it hits the global scope, which is everything underneath the script tags. So now let's go back to our previous question. How could var cause an issue if it is not scope safe? The short answer is it could unexpectedly override the value of an existing variable and causes bugs in our program. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have a variable called index and this index variable holds some very important information that's needed later in our code. And now let's say we've got a for loop which coincidentally using the variable index as its counter. And now let's see what will happen to the index variable after the for loop. Oh shoot, we get 4, which means our important information has been overwritten. Can you see how this could lead us to bugs in our code? Our program now thinks that the number 4 is the important information that we previously defined and carry on to use this number to perform the corresponding important operations. And this is very, very bad. So how can we fix this? The answer is very simple. Do not ever use the var keyword. If we change var to lat, our problem is instantly gone. The reason is by using lat, the variable index in the for loop lives inside the for loop's scope. And it is not the same as the index that we define outside. So as soon as we leave the for loop, the index variable in there is gone forever. And the index variable outside remains as itself. And now for the next part, let's take a look at another weird behavior of the var variable. Let's create a scope, and inside this scope, we have three variables, defined using the var, let, and const keyword. And we'll console lock them outside the scope. And as expected, our let and const variable give us an error because we're outside the scope. But the var variable is printed out just fine. Why is that? Again, this is another weird thing about var. This is something called hoisting. So hoisting means raised up. When we declare a var variable, it doesn't care about what scope we are in, it will always get hoisted up to the global scope. So even though we declare this variable inside the scope, JavaScript will hoist the declaration up to the global scope and assign the value to the variable inside the scope. So to JavaScript, this section actually looks something like this.
So again, the variable sucks and they are hoisted up whenever we declare them. Moving on, let's look at another example. We'll create three new variables. Again, a let variable, var variable, and a const variable. Now, if we try to access the let and const variable, JavaScript will throw us an error. And that's normal, because how can we access something if that's not declared yet, right? Well, to var, rules doesn't exist. JavaScript will not throw us an error if we try to access the variable before it is declared. Why? Because of hoisting. When we declare a var variable, JavaScript will hoist this variable upwards to the very top. So similar to before, to JavaScript, this block looks something like this. And that's why we get undefined for this variable. So the conclusion here is that we cannot access a let or const variable before declaration. But for var variable, JavaScript will not throw us an error, but will get undefined for the value. The last weird thing about var is that var variable are added to the Windows object by default. So if I try to console out windows.avar, we get a value. But if we try to console out the let variable, we get undefined. So these are the differences between var and let and const. If you can get one message out of this video, I hope that it will be do not ever ever use var. Otherwise, people will start to hate you. All right, key takeaway, var sucks and var is not scope safe. Var variables are hoisted up. That means they are raised to the top of the global scope. We can't access a let or const variable before declaration. And finally, var variables are added to the window object by default. That's it for now and I'll see you again shortly. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.